Okay, is it working? So there was a, uh, the following space, SL, uh, ASL to C with tilde associated with three manifold. So this was uh, understood as a, spa as, a, as a space of all uh, uh, SL to C connections on a three on a some closed and three manifolds M3, where we do a quotient only with respect to base gauge transformations connected to identity. And of course, this can be understood as a uh, so there is a project there is a projection to the usual space of uh, SL2C connections modular all gauge transformations, and the quotient is essentially done with respect to uh, Z times uh, just a single copy of uh, SL to C group. Uh, so up to up to this quotient by SL to C, this space can be understood as a universal cover, and uh, so there was a, uh, uh, so from this space, so we have a uh, John Simons functional maps it to C. Contrary, so here the John Simons functional was only well defined model Z, and. Uh, uh, then there was a crit uh, the su subspace of critical points, which we denoted by MSL to C flat. So of course it all, all depends on three manifold. Sometimes it will omit it. Also the tilde, which is of course also uh, projected to the usual model space of uh, SL to C flat connections. And uh, okay, then there were uh, so there were notion of uh, perturbative invariants. Uh, so they can be encoded in a, some generic kind of a formal power series expansion, which can be sort of generating function for them. Uh, uh, so this is some formal power series in uh, John Simon's level. So it starts with some power, the alpha plus one, and n goes from zero, and then we denoted them by a and alpha. So alpha, uh, so let me kind of, uh, so alpha in principle should label the, uh, the, the connected components here, but uh, so I will abuse notation. I will, I, I will, I will, I will take, I will, I will, I will, I will choose alpha to be uh, element of pi zero of this bigger space. But of course, it's uh, uh, all these coefficients and uh, this shift depend only on uh, its projection here. It doesn't depend on which of the Z copies uh, we, we take upstairs. Okay, and uh, so in principle you can, uh, th there you can relate this uh, shift to, uh, uh, to, a, to a dimension of the corresponding connected component. And the formula is like this. So let me, uh, So this is uh, the corresponding uh, connected component in uh, M tilde flat. So, okay. Well. Yes, well, here, th this, this is supposed to be s uh, smooth because you don't, uh, qu qu well, yes, this is a generic point. No, the A tilde is smooth, the M tilde is certainly not. Yeah. S well, this is a yeah, gen generic point. It's a generic, what, what uh, if you have a connected component with like two different irreducible components with different dimensions? Well, this should be some sort of maximal or minimal, or some, some stuff like this. I mean, uh, 
well, I guess uh, the minim minimum. Yeah, things should be mean. Uh, okay, so, but in principle, we, uh, yeah, okay. Um, good. So now, and then there was a, so I started to formulate some conjectures. So first, so let me mention that the conjectures are kind of, uh, well, they, they kind of, uh, well, not very explicitly, but they appeared in the, uh, in the work by Gukov, Marinho, and myself, and where we also explicitly check them for various examples. So first uh, conjecture A, but of course they are motivated by this uh, uh, construction, by this kind of, mo uh, by this uh, relation uh, of chern simon theory to some sort of Picard, generalized picard lefschel theory proposed by Kantsevich and Vita. So conjecture A is that, uh, so if you, if you consider uh, the following power series, so let uh, psi alpha be the value of uh, chern simons functional on any representative uh, uh, from this, uh, uh, from the from the corresponding connected component, labeled by alpha, uh, then uh, so we can we want to construct the following uh, series related to, to the series by some sort of risk uh, rescaling of the coefficients by the gamma function. Let me make sure that I write this correctly. Xi minus xi alpha, d alpha plus n. And uh, and then the statement that uh, it uh, can be so first of all, the statement is that this has a this this series will have a actually finite radius of convergence. Then we can be analytically continued uh, to uh, a cover of uh, complex plane minus uh, 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 minus. Uh, uh, with, with critical with critical values of John Simon's action removed, and uh, so again you can uh, kind of with the motivation of this is that uh, so you kind of understand this uh, big space uh, to be fibered over C by John Simon's action, and. Uh, where's the then there are, uh, so this, uh, uh, the, the connected, so there are some connected components of critical points, M alpha, and uh, so they can be kind of isolated, but they can be non-isolated, and they always come in uh, Z works of copies. And uh, uh, so they project, but they all project just points in this complex plane. And this is a plane where I can think of uh, where my variable psi lives here. And uh, so, uh, so the idea is that uh, this B of psi is some sort of, uh, so the value of this is some sort of integral over some half dimensional uh, cycle of the sink, which we had in the past integral. So this is kind of heuristics behind this. And of course, when we when we when we when we, when we want to analytically continue on this plane, we can encounter singularities of this uh, function where some of the so wh 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 when. Okay. Well, this part is not really important. But <laughs> 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 uh, 
well, I was just saying dimensions it, uh, so yeah, the value b alpha xi can be uh, understood as the integral, and heuristically, of integral over some uh, half, uh, uh, half dimensional uh, compact, half dimensional cycle uh, in the fiber. So this is the cycle, so we start with some point, uh, critical point psi alpha, we take a cycle which shrinks at this point because, uh, because, this, is a critical uh, because this is a critical value, and then we want to kind of analytically continue, there can be some singularities uh, when, when, some other, when, when some other cycles shrink. And that's, hmm? Integral of uh, dA, well, the, the same thing which we had uh, before. So the integral of, uh, uh, of this expo exponent uh, 2 pi i k times John Simons. No, this is, uh, this is correct. No, i alpha, i alpha. Is, in, is I alpha will be integral over the whole uh, uh, left shift symbol. So this is, uh, so you can imagine, uh, so the, here I can, so B, the just the value of B, B alpha of psi itself is just integral over the, over the somehow, over the half dimensional cycle in the fiber. But if I first integrate, which I will mention in the morning, first integrate this function over array here uh, in a particular direction, this, this will introduce additional integration over this, uh, over the, in, along this direction, and this will produce the integral over the whole left sheet symbol. So here I'm talking about not the integral of B alpha, but just the value of B alpha. Fiber is a half dimensional computer? You mean that the left symbol is half dimensional? Well, left symbol is half dimensional is the whole space, but here we're taking a half dimensional cycle in the fiber. Okay. And, uh, and moreover, uh, so the second part of, the of this conjecture is that indeed the integral, uh, the thing, uh, over the contour which starts at psi alpha, it goes along the ray. Uh, so this is a contour, let me denote it by gamma alpha, along, along the ray with the direction determined by the, uh, by the argument of k, uh, is convergent. So this is a conjecture A, and uh, so if it's, uh, if it's true, then let me define I alpha uh, to be the symmetry. And then indeed, uh, so uh, kind of intuitively, uh, once you understand, so we first uh, we've integrated over half dimensional cycle in the fiber, and then we first integrate over this ray, and this produces me integral over a left symbol, and this is what we want I alpha to be. But now we want, so we want to kind of avoid, we don't uh, really want to, 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 to define it as integration. I mean, we cannot define it as integration over this, in this infinite dimensional space. We don't, we don't know the region, but if you know, if you know uh, the perturbative invariants, and they have, in, my, in, in some particular, under some particular conditions, they have a, a precise definition, and one also can, there's some algorithm to calculate them, uh, then one can just define I alpha to be this thing. Assuming they have, they indeed have these properties, so this, conje this conjecture is satisfied. Questions? Okay. So this here, of course, we, we, we want to assume that this ray uh, doesn't pass, I mean, ray lies in this, uh, 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 in the, in this we, we, we lie in this cover, so it doesn't pass through any uh, critical values, any other critical values. And uh, so the second conjecture will be about what happens, what should happen 
if uh, uh, when when it does pass through uh, these singularities and. Uh, So of course, this, uh, the, the conjecture B will assume that the conjecture A is true. And uh, uh, so the same is that there exist integers B alpha, M alpha, and uh, such that. Uh, so the fir first part, such that uh, I alpha, so of course the definition of the definition of this guy depends uh, on k. Well, to be precise, it just it depends on the argument of k. So uh, so if the argument of k is the same as so here I might be not very uh, careful with science. So if if I want to uh, so if the argument of k becomes uh, this. Uh, is equal to the critical value, so it, it coincides. Uh, it's such that it uh, the, the ray will pass. Uh, so this can be understood as, uh, for example, so this is my xi plane, and uh, so this will be xi alpha. This will be somewhere like xi beta, and uh, so I want to uh, uh, start with uh, kind of this configuration. So I take argument of k to be a little bit less than this critical argument. And uh, the statement that it should be related uh, to I alphas where the argument of k Is a bit uh, is a critical value plus epsilon uh, by the following by some linear combination involving integral coefficients in which you have this form. What happened if you made the mistake of uh, trying to do the I alpha with epsilon equal zero? Oh, well the well you have to uh, I mean well you. So, sorry, but I mean, you, your integral will pass through the singularity, or you have to, you will have to regularize somehow your integral. There is some ambiguity. I mean, the integral is well defined only outside, and uh, so you can imagine. So, when you pass through this thing, this uh, kind of this and this the, this contour, you can imagine this uh, this contour will uh, go to a linear combination of the same contour plus. Uh, Something new, and uh, uh, so. Now the second part of conjecture, so let, uh, to formulate the second part of this conjecture, let me introduce the following terminology. Uh, so I can uh, uh, separate my flat connections um, into two groups by the following properties. So uh, first property is, uh, is that, uh, the, like first uh, group of the, of the flat connections or correspondingly the connected components I will call uh, a billion, which means they, they can be can be conjugated into uh, so the holonomies. All holonomies uh, can be conjugated into a C star uh, subgroup of SL to C, and uh, the other all other I will call irreducible. Do you 
Well, uh, no, no, but I mean, there are many, I mean, they are, they are actually exactly the same number of half dimensional cycles as left shift symbol, as, as kinetic components of critical points. But uh, that half dimensional cycle is, so the, the half dimensional cycles, the complex half dimensional cycles in the fiber, they into one to one correspondence with, with critical, kinetic uh, components of uh, critical subspace. So, but uh, here I put pick up, like to define this B alpha, I mean, the question B alpha, I pick a, a particular critical point, and this is a half dimensional cycle which corresponds. So alpha is named as critical point or critical value? Xi alpha is, is, a, xi alpha is, a, is a critical value, uh, and alpha is a connected component of a subspace of critical points. So, and uh, so the, the second part of the conjecture tells uh, is the following, that uh, they are very special, the, the, this coefficients have a, are quite restricted. Well, sir, what do you mean? I think two, but uh, okay. I mean, there, there, yeah. I mean, you, I, I mean, I can imagine some special case when uh, I mean, kind of, I have some degenerate here. I mean, but uh, let me not, don't go into details. Okay, so the statement is that uh, this thing is zero uh, whenever if uh, uh, alpha is uh, irreducible uh, and uh, Uh, and beta and beta is abelian, but the other way around. So again, if al if uh, if alpha is irreducible and beta abelian is uh, uh, non-zero for some uh, abelian. Where alpha is irreducible. So if uh, this if this holds, then it actually means that uh, using this uh, wall crossing pheno phenomenon, wall, wall crossing formula, we can always I mean suppose we know somehow somehow this coefficient m, which morally has a meaning of the monodromy of the half-dimensional cycles in this vibration, and then we can. Uh, 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 can uh, uh, express I alpha, which is uh, irreducible from I beta, where this is. So if, if, for example, if one assumes that this, uh, can, yeah, we, this is uh, the moral. Uh, no, I mean here. No, 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 oh, here. oh, what happened? I mean, you can, uh, in principle, you can have, uh, you can have something. Yeah, you can. Ha well, you can have some. Uh, well, you have, you have, you'll have infinite sum here. Yeah. Sorry, say it again. Uh, yes, so for, in this ir irreducible case, uh, I think. So, I mean, we, we can actually write single invariant, uh, you know, in, in some, uh, in, 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 like, like the diagrams that create the 
Yeah. Each one is a separate uh, variant. Yeah. So, so in this mix, in the mix one book, does the mix in you know, require you to, like, how, how do the diagrams of your performance get mixed up in this one book? Is it like a formula for each diagram? Or is it well, it's, it's a some sort of, uh, well, uh, I mean, it's some complicated, it's some function of K which uh, obtained from those environments by this procedure, which I mentioned. Like you do, uh, you consider some generating function uh, with pro Well, I, I would say kind of all of them essentially. For example, for example, even uh, for example, to, to determine, to determine, for example, just the uh, like the position, the position of this singularity. So, for example, one is like the weak statement of this whole thing is that you can like starting from the uh, starting from the perturbative invariance at one point at one at one at one at one flat connection, you can determine. Uh, our value of trans, for example, with zero value of transimus functional at the other flat, so at the other flat connection, position. and this is actually determined by by the asymptotics of this finite type invariant at one point. So, kind of the the the, uh, the each diagram here is determined by some asymptotics of the of the invariants there. So it's uh, not uh, just it's not simple. But still, it's uh, quite, I mean, it's uh, quite amazing that it's wo it works in, in some examples. Okay. And uh, now the conjecture, uh, the conjecture C is that, uh, uh, so let me take numbers well, let me assume that they are rational. Uh, so if you take some numbers uh, for each uh, rational numbers for each for, for each alpha, such that uh, so I want to require if uh, if uh, if I take a sum alpha as a lift uh, sum of all lifts of. Uh, of uh, an SU2 flat connection. So inside SL2C flat connections there, are of course, SU2 flat connections. And so if I pick a particular component in the modeling space of SU2 flat connection and the sum of all lifts, I want this to be one. And uh, for, any, uh, for any SU2 flat connection. And, uh, if I take the sum of uh, all uh, lifts of uh, non-SU2 flat connections, so the, 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 fl the flat connection, the SL to C flat connection, which cannot be conjugated to SU2, uh, with uh, imaginary part of Chern-Simons uh, less or greater than zero, then I want to require this to be zero. And uh, so let me write it here. If I take the sum of uh, uh, an alpha, so the same thing as before, but uh, with imaginary part of John Simons greater than zero, then it should be equal to some uh, uh, it, sh it should be equal to some integer. So if I take, uh, uh, well, let me write it in this way, so some integer and C, which labels uh, this uh, uh, SL to C flat connection with imaginary part of John Simons greater than zero. Uh, and uh, so the statement that uh, there exist those numbers and C, 
such that if I, if I pick an alpha satisfying this uh, sum rules, so kind of I fix the sum over all these uh, towers in the universal cover, then uh, my WRT invariant, uh, so this, this guy was defined for positive integral z, will be equal to this sum uh, for alpha when I, when I restrict k to z plus. So this is can be understood as a stronger, stronger version of uh, much stronger version of the asymptotic expansion conjecture. It's not just uh, you relate the asymptotics of uh, asympt asymptotics of the WRT invariant with uh, with this perturbative invariance, but you relate exact value, exact value with uh, this goes guys alpha, which you constructed from perturbative invariance. Questions. Yes. Well, because uh, if this would be true, then the asymptotic expansion conjecture would be false. I mean, those those guys. I mean, these conditions are fixed by that you you want asymptotic expansion conjecture to be to, to be true at least. So, for example, all uh, SU2, so in the stability consumption condition, only SU2 appears, and they appear with kind of, with coefficient one, essentially, with some proper normalization. But uh, those guys with, with positive value of transignments of imaginary part, they can, they can contribute uh, with some multiplicities, which we don't know, but one can try to fix them by looking at, this, at the topology of these half-dimensional cycles in this space, in principle. I, I, uh, yes, it's uh, just uh, it just shifts uh, by uh, by this uh, by like uh, two pi i k times integer. That's that's that's, that's why when you when you restrict k to k to z to z plus, you only care about those sum those sums. So of course you, you can always uh, choose this uh, so like you can always choose uh, this sum to be if you want this sum to be fine and just in, in each of these in each of these sums take only a single non-zero value so this would be simple choice but sometimes sometimes it's uh, you you get a nice so of course the, I mean the different choices of an alpha give you different analytic continuation which have the same restriction to integer case but the point is that. Uh, so one can, of course, take them just uh, to be uh, again once in each of the sum. In each of the sum, only single is one; the other, all other are zero. 